so good morning YouTube and this is driving with Kia well I'm gonna start driving with Kia cuz I got issues when I drive I'm not sure why but we'll see how this goes and it's early man it's like 8 8 is early for me I don't wake up to maybe like 9 just simply cuz my husband goes to work after that <sighs> Uh, you want to know the tips to waking up like in a good mood don't wake up early I'm turning on my blinker and I'm in a freaking apartment complex oh my god the tips to waking up early no to waking up in a good mood is don't wake up early um you know get a good breakfast maybe like some orange juice and yogurt maybe and Oh, maybe listen to like a good song or something. I know if I was listening to a good song right now, maybe that would help. But it ain't nothing on the station. So. The thing about Texas is like nothing is close. Like if you want to go to the store or something, you don't have to go like far. The closest store is far. Like oh, uh, Walmart is close to us. Maybe like I feel like it's 20 minutes. It's probably like maybe I don't know 15 or 11 but I feel like it's a 20 minute drive yeah, so like I can drive but I can't drive drive if that makes sense like I can drive but not like drive drive I be um I don't know I be hitting curves cars like to get on my butt so whenever cars get on my butt I go slower just to prove a point because who doesn't like to prove a point See what I mean? We don't got no smooth roads. They put all this money into cutting all these grasses and building like unnecessary stuff here in Texas. And they never fix the roads. Like these roads are horrible. I haven't been on one road that's like so smooth. Even the ones by the school. The ones by the school, all of them got like some potholes and whatnot. I'm not sure why, but. Okay, so let me tell you guys the story time. Story time about my first car accident. OMG, OMG, OMG. OMG, okay. So story time. Story time about my first car accident. My very, very first car accident. So it's, it was, I, I stayed really kind of far from it. I stayed about a good 30 minutes away from where I was supposed to be going. So I was going to pick my husband up from work because he was saying, oh, like he feels sick. He was nauseous. He didn't want to be at work anymore. He was like getting exhausted and he was just felt weak so i was like um you sure you can't like stick it out through the rest of the day because i do not want to drive that far mind you it's super far i ain't have to get on all types of tolls or whatever y'all call it tolls and freeways and byways and whatnot so then he was like no i feel really really bad i don't think i'm gonna be able to um i don't think i'm gonna be able to uh stay at work so I was like, okay, fine. So, you know, I got up. I was getting dressed. Mind you, I was already kind of nauseous that day, too, because I was pregnant. I was pregnant with my first son, which is DJ. So I was pregnant with him. And then I wasn't too, too far along. I mean, I was maybe, I think I already knew it was a boy. Yeah, I was maybe like five months, five months pregnant by then. So then once I started, like, you know, getting dressed and everything, I called him again. I was like, hey, you know, you still feeling good because, you know, I couldn't. I could lay down straight or what and he still wanted me to go so I started to go mind you I missed like 30 exits I was going down one ways I did not know what was what I was using the GPS and I still couldn't read the GPS and then once the GPS started acting right it started going like the wrong way it was like upside down or something like that so anyways I kind of figured it out and then I got there and you know how it's like um you have the little dotted lines and you have a solid line and how you're not supposed to cross those solid lines. Apparently, I crossed a solid line, which I don't think I did. But it was a car coming. It was far. It, the car was super far away. The car wasn't even close to me. I swear the car wasn't close to me. And it's like, whenever I crossed over, that's when the car sped up. Like, I am not joking. That car sped up whenever it seen me cross it. And it was like a little... A little tiny little Honda or something like that. It was a little car. It was already like falling apart, falling into pieces. It wasn't even all that. 
And then I had a truck. I had a big old truck. I think I had the Ford at that time. Yeah, I had like a Ford or yeah, I think I had a Ford at that time. I had my little big black truck or whatnot. It was like so tall. You needed the little step bars to get in it. So I mean, that car was hit me. I would have been straight regardless. So then I was crossing over because you had to pretty much go around in a giant circle just to get to a spot that was like right there. Mind, I'm bad with directions, sorry. You had to go in like a giant circle to get to a spot that was like right there. So I crossed, I crossed over. And I told you the car was not close to me at all. That car was so far away. Like when I looked, there was no cars. I'm not gonna go if it's a car, obviously. So then I crossed over and from out of nowhere, boom, he hit the side of my truck like, he hit it pretty freaking hard. What are they out here doing? Oh, look at the horses. There's so many horses. Whenever you drive, okay, I'm gonna check it. Anyways, he hit my car so hard. So we pulled over in front of this restaurant or whatever. And I wanted his information because I'm like, you just hit my car. Like, I don't know if you sped up when you see me or something like that. But apparently he did. So it was a guy. I was like, you know, a little spending guy or whatever. So he was giving me like his little information, which I don't think it was like real i think it was like a fake insurance or something like that because i don't know it just looked it weird but his whole bumper was falling off his whole the whole bumper of his car fell off like all i had was like one of my side steps was dented in but his whole bumper his whole bumper was just like gone destroyed it was nothing that you could do to save it no zip ties no nothing and i think he said he had to drive all the way from dallas to oklahoma at that time he had like a lot of stuff in his car like I kind of felt bad for him or whatever but at the time I didn't notice that I was in the wrong that I had crossed over on the double lines or whatnot I only know it because of the, uh, the report that we got after we filed the with the insurance or whatnot so then you know I felt bad for him or whatever and then my husband had just came over there he walked from his job site to by the restaurant it wasn't too far away and then you know I was just feeling bad I was like oh man but I felt even worse I'm like dang I'm pregnant like I just got in a car accident like how does that work how does that how do you manage to get in a car accident you're pregnant over something like so easy it's not like it was a busy road or anything like that i don't know it was just horrible but yeah so you know he just we let him go we didn't like ask him for no money or this that, and the third because his car was super damaged we just called the insurance like you know how you're supposed to do a little report we didn't even call the police because it's not even worth it sometimes not even that serious good thing I didn't because I was in the wrong apparently but no we didn't even call the police or anything like that so we just let him go uh, poor guy I wonder if he ever got a new car or like how did that work because his car was messed up I would have been super heated if that was my car I'm turn anyways just because I make rough turns when they hear that Oh my god, no, I'm about to turn. Slow down, slow down. There's a truck behind me and I'm speeding and he's speeding and both of us speeding together. That does not work. You know what, you guys? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. Ooh. I pulled up in that thing. Smooth! Ah! Hold on. Let me back. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, so I'm back. Yeah, that was pretty much my first car accident experience. That was my first and only car accident car accident um, experience. I've never been in another car accident before that or after that or anything like that. So till this day, my first experience with a car accident was when I was pregnant with my son. That's crazy. Never would I ever thought I would have gotten into a car accident before, especially with my son. Especially the way I drive, because I drive like a, a old lady, so I don't get it. I drive very slow and very careful. I don't even take freaking yellow lights. My car moving like this now just simply because the roads are bad. It's not my fault whatsoever at all. People need to turn on their blinkers. I'm supposed to know where they're going. Don't turn on their blinker. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, baby. What is you doing? Press the Uconnect. Boy, this RV acting unusual. It's because how you pull, pull in the RV on that little behind truck? Wow. I guess you got to do what you got to do. Cool. Let me get back. All right. Turn up. Turn Normally, I listen to music, but I'm just going to have a choir drive today. All I listen to is like one artist all the time. 
need to put me on to some new music. Huh? Been broke so many times. Uh, uh. Just like heart been broke so many times. I uh, don't know what to believe. Mama say it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. <laughs> Put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. You know a song I will always sing in the car? I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. Yeah. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. You get the gist. Uh -huh. Itty, itty. You know what? It's actually pretty hard driving in the sun. I don't drive during the middle of the day. I drive. Oh no, no, sir. You're not gonna get me. Oh, on my butt. You can go around, mister. You can go around me. You can go around. Just go around. Go on now. Dang, what they behind me for? Dang. Go on now. Oh, well, I'm out of light. You know how to be asking for it? I don't. I don't got a dollar. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. This light is just. No. No one. Do the light skin face. Hey. Do the light skin face. Hey. Do the light skin face. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. That was driving with Kia slash my story time. My first car accident. While well, pregnant. Yeah, that's never going to happen again. I think that's another reason why. I don't drive but anyways like comment and subscribe and thank you for taking the time out of your beautiful day your wonderful busy day to watch me be me on the internet in the video bye y'all and i forgot to put in there i just checked the mail what i on what i had ordered Ooh, i got a banger coming in that thing's gonna be so funny oh my gosh i'm gonna probably upload it tomorrow i'm gonna upload this one today and i'm gonna upload the other one tomorrow but yes sir we gonna get there i'm not wearing my seatbelt i'm already home so don't snitch anyways